So the next thing to do in figuring out our authentication is to set up a strategy. And the strategy basically will take in a username and a password, and then it will return that user's details that then we can then use for our app. And it also makes sure that the passwords match and everything. So that's what we need to do. And we need a new um, NPM module to do this, and it, it's called Passport Local. And so the first step to do is just to install that. So I'm just going to go here and say npm install passport-local. And this allows us to get this constructor for this thing called a local strategy. And a local strategy is basically um, a strategy where we can write our own function and um, we can dictate exactly how to retrieve this um, user details back. If we're using um, a third party authentication like GitHub or something, or Google, they have their own strategies, so we just have to give them the username and password and they'll return the details for us after making the user login, of course. So now that um, this is installed, we just want to re um, require the constructor here. So up here, um, you just want to say let local strategy equals require and then passport dash local. And this is in capitals because this is going to be a constructor right here. So we want to create a new strategy for this. And since our strategy basically um, basically just returns a, it'll take in a username and a password and it'll return the user's document. I'm just going to call this something like a find user document. And I'm going to call the um, new local strategy constructor here. And inside this, you give a function of how you want to be able to return this document. So remember, this function will take in a username and a password. And it will also take in um, a done function. And this is where we'll give, once we found the document, we'll give it to the done function. And then it'll go ahead and it'll get um, serialized or whatever. So that's, and it'll do whatever the next steps are. So now that we have this username and password, um, what we have to do is find the user's document from the database and retrieve that document. So remember that we have a username to search with. So what we want to do is on DB, which remember was the database that was um, returned up here. So on DB, what we want to do is, do we want to say db.collection and it's the user's collection we're working with. And we want to call the find one method here. And remember, find one um, t takes in an object query of what we want to search for. And we want the username field of the object. It might be worth mentioning here, actually, that um, in each of the user documents, we're going to be storing their ID, which MongoDB will generate, their username and their password. We're not worrying about encryption or anything for now. So we want to make sure that the username field is equal to the username that we take in here. The next argument in the find one method is a callback function. And this takes in an error. And I'm just going to call this um, ERR just to go with the convention here. And it also takes in the uh, document once it's been found. And this document is essentially a user. So I'm just going to call it user. And this user document will contain the username, password, and ID, like I said before. So now we have this user to return, but we have to uh, slow down here and think um, what else we have to check first before we return it. So firstly, if there was an error, so if the error exists, um, what we want to do is we want to just call the done function and give it this error. Remember the done function takes in an error as the first argument. And then um, that will allow us to, pr they'll probably log it or something and we can understand what happens. Um, I would personally just console log it, but I'm just going to go with the way they've done it here. Um, so then that's okay. Next thing we want to check is if this user document actually exists, because even if there wasn't an error, if the user document doesn't exist, this will be null or undefined. And that's not really an error, so it won't come up as an error. So if the user doesn't exist, so we can specify that like this, um, then what we can do is, I'm just going to double check here. Yeah, we can return, um, the, you can call the done function here. And there wasn't an error this time, so that's null. Remember, not finding a document isn't an error. An error is something like an error with the connection to the database, for example. And so we want to put null here. And in, in the place of the document, we'll just return false here. And false just indicates that um, we couldn't find the user or there was an authentication error. So then what we want to say is else if... Um, this should have an if here, by the way. So else if, and um, now we need to check that the username and password 
are actually correct. So we want to check that the passwords match basically. So uh, remember that we taken in the password here. So we want to say if user.password is not equal to password and um, I think I'm just going to go with strict equality here like this. So if username, if the user documents password field isn't equal to the password that we took in, once again, we want to um, call the done function and just return false because we can't return the correct user when we have an incorrect password because obviously that's not safe. And then we have an else here. So this is when um, all of these checks have been completed and everything is okay. So this means that the correct username and password was provided and we can return this user document now. And all we want to do here is say done and then the error is null. And instead of false here, we can actually return the user document. And then this user document um, will get used in the uh, serialize function. And remember that we can then extract the ID from the document to save it to our session cookie. So we have the strategy written out now. So the next thing to do is tell um, Passport to actually use this strategy. So that's our um, next step right here. So, and the way we can do this is using um, Passport.use method. And by the way, um, this Git repository right here has some of the best Passport docs right here. And they actually explain um, all the functions really well and what exactly they do. So we want to look for the passport.use method, which is this one. And all we do is we just give it a strategy and uh, it, then passport will make sure that when it's doing its authentication and stuff, it'll use that strategy that we created. So we want to say passport.use here and we want to give it our find um, user document strategy right there. So again, what this does is it tells passport that um, when we have a username and password, this is how we want to get the user document back and we want to use this database right here. So that's essentially everything you need to do in this. So the first step um, to do it in the project is we just want to install Passport Local. So in here, I'm just going to do npm install passport-local. This will take some time to do. Um, and remember that we should only do whatever we're doing now um, once we have the database connection. So that's inside this else statement right here. So let's set up um, our local strategies while we're waiting for this to install. So we can say um, let find user document equals new and then local strategy. Don't worry, we'll import, we'll require this in a second. Um, let me just check if that's almost finished. So I'm going to refresh this and then I'm going to go and require it just so this um, local strategy thing doesn't throw an error. So up here, um, after passport, I'm just going to say let uh, local strategy equals and then require passport dash local like this. I'm going to format it as well just to get it cleaned up. Okay, so we have a new local strategy being uh, created. That should, that's misspelled. Okay, so inside this, remember, we want to give it the function of how we want to return the user document once we have a username and password. So this function will take in a username and password and the done function where we'll give our returned document. And once again, in the database, which is this uh, DB right here, um, again, remember that in this else statement, we have access to this DB. Um, we want to say db.collection dot find one and again the collection um, is called users um, if you look here in the advanced node database I have this users collection so we want to use the users collection and um, hang on sorry and um, this this users thing should go into the collection rather than there it should be like that sorry my bad um, just gonna double check that one yeah, so you want to call the collection method and then give the collection and then call the find one method. And in the find one method, the first thing we have to give it is an object with our query. And we just want the username of the document to be equal to the username that we took in. And then we have a callback function for once this has been completed. And this will take in an error and the user document. And I'm just going to copy the code from here because this will probably be a lot easier. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in. And I'll just explain this again. So 
it's basically what we did um, here. So we have we log that the username, the user with that username has tried to log in. And if there's an error, we'll call the done method and give the error. And I think free code camp will be able to display the error maybe. I don't know what this does. Um, and then if the, if the user document doesn't exist, we'll return false in the place of the document. Or if the passwords don't match, we'll also return false. Otherwise, we'll return this user document right here. And again, this can go to the serializer. So the next thing to do is tell Passport to use this. So um, down here, we just want to say passport.use, and we want to use the local strategy, which is called find user document. And that should be everything we need to do. Um, I'm just going to check if um, there's an, any errors. Um, hang on. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Okay, we'll try it anyway. So um, if I refresh this, we should see that this is okay. Um, I think it's coming up with these errors maybe because we haven't connect, we have, we don't have any documents in the database. I'm just gonna try submitting it and then what we'll do is we'll work through the errors. No, that seems to have been fine. So you can just go ahead and submit that and I think we'll be able to solve those errors in the next challenge.